Well, the ground has been going pretty good. Um, I've been on the ground for quite some time. I've had a lot of community events in different areas in the constituency. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty comfortable in terms of what I've accomplished so far in terms of reaching the constituents, the constituents and the communities within, within the constituency. Um, was the calling of this not the elections, was it a surprise to you? Uh, it, it was a surprise, um, but I'm happy to say that I am ready um, to get the ball rolling. We have been preparing for this for quite some time and we were anticipating in some form the calling of the election early, although it did come at, at a surprise uh, in terms of the Boxing Day or the Christmas Bank holiday. But St. Michael Northwest DLP team is definitely ready. We have our plan in place and it will be executed flawlessly. And um, we, we, our program is focused on people of the constituency. It's going to be very people oriented. We're going to be focusing on the issues of the day for the people of this constituency, or that the people of this constituency are facing. And we intend to hammer home at all of the inefficiencies and all of the bad treatment and all of the hardship that this government has put these, put these constituents through for the last three and a half years. So any, any pressing issues in particular that since the snap election have been called that you have been hearing from the, the residents as you've been on the ground? The, the issues remain the same. From the time the government took office, the increased bus fares, the increased the water bills, they, they sent up the, um, the cost of, of transportation in terms of fuel with the fuel tax. And these are things that have impacted the lives of the working class people in this constituency. Uh, you also would know that the, the, the government restructured, restructured the debt. And I mean, that impacted some of these people that might have had investments as well. Um, it impacted national insurance schemes. So it, it had no puts us at a risk in terms of where we would go with some of our pensions. And it also impacted report working class people have their money in credit unions and credit unions were impacted. So the government has done nothing really for the working class people that they said that they cared about. And COVID has presented itself and what did they do? They did nothing as well. One care, care package for the whole period of COVID is what they did for people. And um, you, you, you did, did even extend the, the, the time that persons could assess national insurance benefits, but they extended the time that would have restricted persons from accessing their severance payments. So these are the real issues that I've been encountered with canvassing and interacting with people in these constituents, in the constituency so far. And these are going to be top of our agenda because we need to make sure that these things are rectified. And cost of living is always a concern. And although the government came to office, although the government removed the NSRL, although the government refunded or, or wrote off over one billion dollars in VAT that was owed to them, we saw no impact in the reduction of food, of course, on the shelves of supermarkets and in Barbados. And these are burning issues that constituents and Barbados has, or have, sorry, 